Now we are uh, introducing Riyasha. Um, she's an Indian artist with a diploma in fine arts and uh, uh, paper Mac. She has four years of related work experience, a competent and hardworking artist who is able to come up with a range of original ideas, theories, and the fascinations through various artistic mediums with a recognized qualification and an ability to use clay, paper, mac, clay art, painting, drawing, sculpture, and other forms as expressive language uh, to create art for sale or uh, exp expiations. Uh, um, Ria been now uh, working with us, and I think it's for her first exhibition with us, but uh, you know, we have seen work and um, you know we're looking forward to um, introduce uh, Riaz. The stage is yours uh, to talk about your works. Hello and good evening to everyone, uh, especially Art Smiley. Uh, and this is Riaz. Just a brief about myself. I'm a dentist by prof profession, and uh, passionately I'm an artist. And uh, since child childhood, I'm into artistry. I like doing you know using colors. And uh, uh, even from, uh, you know, I'm just too passionate and I have uh, been honored or uh, have been uh, have received, um, you know, a state level uh, uh, award from a late uh, Mr. M. F. Hussain as a renowned and famous artist from India. And the thing is just uh, I'm from uh, India. And I have been, uh, you know, associated with, you know, some of the government state level uh, artwork and in designing and in, in installation also uh, in uh, Terracotta. And uh, the brief about my artwork is just, uh, I have uh, a little more thing that, that is, I have shifted uh, in UA last year, mid of Feb. So just I'm new to this uh, uh, country. And uh, I just love this uh, country and the surroundings. Uh, I'm just exploring myself. And during the lockdown, uh, I have just uh, explored and uh, uh, came to know that uh, uh, that I am just uh, uh, more than realistic and uh, anything else uh, for, uh, out of a form uh, form of art. I'm into you know uh, acrylic, and this is the just. Uh, artwork which I'm exhibiting in the Art Smiley uh, exhibition. And this is more about, you know, uh, the, uh, the uh, name of title of my uh, painting is uh, Ocean Blue. It's uh, more like resembling to ocean sand and this, the feeling uh, which uh, drag, uh, it's a kind of a form of art uh, uh like uh, whenever you go wherever you go you absorb that that thing and just you drag that uh, beauty from your th uh, point of or thought to that canvas so i just uh, felt it the same thing and just enhanced uh, that uh, in a different pattern it's a change of uh, one kind of energy to the uh, other kind like in a, in a form of a canvas it's a simple, uh, simple, no, nothing is nothing, no stroke and nothing, just a form of a fluid art. Uh, just defining the beauty of a nature, ocean and sand, it's an like enormous feeling. It's a wide range. It's a, it can be a perfect for interior, for a, a living room. Just it's, it, uh, it uh, signifies or defines the enormous thing in you. Uh, just uh, the beauty of, you know, large thing uh as in uh, the the piece as in uh, the enormous thing the enormous piece you feel when you go around the nature and uh, like you absorb the beauty you have the, you have that uh, present feeling uh, which you keep your mind uh, peaceful and just a, uh, just a, you know exchange of energy from nature uh, from your environment to the canvas so it's just it's like that only. All right, thank you, Ria, and uh, and appreciated uh, for showcasing your works. Uh, um, I'm sure uh, as you progress, uh, you know, we'll see more and more works from you. Okay, thank you so much. Have... Thank can you, you move on, showcase our works? Yeah. This is uh, Ajit, Dr. Ajit Gadekar. Uh, uh, he's a pediatrician by profession. Uh, painting is his hobby. 
the beauty of uh, nature is mesmerizing and uh, makes him to forget his work stress uh, you know this happens with him so everything begins with a blank canvas as you do and the paint brush strokes uh, start changing the meaning of canvas and uh, hands create a uniquely different piece he finds peace in creating canvas paintings he do paintings in oil and try to capture beauty of nature he participated in a couple of art exhibitions and he's been working with us last you know few exhibitions with art smiley dr ajit the stage is yours to talk about your work sir uh, hello everyone uh, my fellow artist uh, good evening uh, thank you mr lu uh, ma'am aruna again giving me this opportunity yes we have been together for last uh, i think three, third fourth time now mm, looking at the subject of this uh, exhibition uh, I, i feel i am all in this or what uh, because everybody is uh, in the abstract and uh, i really thanks uh, um, uh, curator for uh, uh, selecting this landscapes i am Uh, basically a pediatrician i am a full time pediatrician working in ua for last 8 years now uh, i am self taught and this is now i am going to be uh, achieving my second year of uh, doing the pedics and um, i love to do only landscapes i do mostly the landscapes and that too in oil and uh, uh, my aim is to achieve as much realism in my paintings as possible uh, i am going to exhibit my two paintings this time uh, this i finished uh, two days back um this is uh, a busy composition busy landscape uh, with the beautiful sky mist in the background background trees middle ground is busy and the foreground also busy uh, the idea of adding uh, this particular wildlife in this painting uh, i never did this before this is the first time i am adding a uh, second time i am adding uh, the wildlife in my paintings and uh, with the results i am encouraged to do it more i would like to achieve more realism in the wildlife i enjoy painting fur in this stag here uh, i decided to call it as a bliss on the canvas uh, because i feel very happy about this painting the way it came out and i hope to uh, this is on 60 by 90 cm canvas and uh, uh, wish to exhibit it tomorrow uh, at the faculty of hilton Uh, my next painting is uh, this one which i finished uh, last month uh, this is the sunny day at beach uh, so i am not sure whether it is a life effect uh, you feel uh, right now but it is looks very bright clouds uh, even without uh, this thing that was the aim of uh, doing this painting again I, this is the first time i added uh, any wildlife in my painting and the second time which is this tag uh, it's a sunny beach there's a simple uh, landscape but gives the depth of perception uh, in this and uh, these are the two paintings uh, again this is on 60 by 90 meters uh, 60 by 90 cm canvas and i am deciding to uh, exhibit this tomorrow at the double tree by elton and uh, thank you art smiley again and uh, wish all the best luck for this coming uh, this year for everyone and hope we live our uh, 2020 uh, bad experiences in the past like thanks again thank you very much thank you dr ajit uh, you know participating again with us and uh, you know yes uh, we do have to you know forget 2020 and look forward to 2021 as we already here uh, but one thing i would say that it's good that you're adding wildlife uh, and i you know I, as i always mes- mesmerize when i see your works uh, the the you know the colors you choose are uh, the quite impressionism you know the very clean uh, you know where you see the details to close uh, you know very nice uh, you know you put together these works uh, and i really appreciate it uh, you know this <laughs> the wildlife as you see you're saying first time but you look like an experienced artist is putting together these uh, you know that's wonderful work uh, because do you want to say anything uh, here yeah I, i just like second your thoughts like is it like very really interesting like realistic works like quite it takes you to the realism world like you just mm-hmm. see as a photography it, it, it tends to photography so, so much precision and skill it it shows these works and the color composition 
wonderful work by dr gadeka and more you know he's being a full time uh, you know a doctor and uh, you know keep coming up and keeping his passion and doing it it's it's an amazing and uh, and we're really proud uh, you know to represent uh, people like you and that's the goal of art smiley also to make this uh, you know and for many as many we could give a platform uh, to encourage the artists thank, thank you, you dr ajita thank you sir thank you very much really appreciate thanks right it's our pleasure thank you sir thank you yeah so now we're introducing uh, rasmina karim um she grown up in dubai and uh, spent most of her life in here rasmina is an entrant to the artist community having practiced uh, art only in her childhood it wasn't until the 2020 global pandemic and the lockdown that she followed her passion in earnest and found actual uh, contentment with art colors speak to her more than words can and this is the inspiration behind her works she often lets her emotional self dictate the temperament for her works they sometimes encompasses a color palette of screaming vibrancy or other times of somber and subtle hues rasmina the stage is yours please talk about your works yeah she's not here actually we will just to showcase her work she's sure okay uh, let's go one by one yeah, yeah, i mean i oh my god it's just nice uh, you know the reflections uh, she done it beautifully yeah okay yeah mr vikas realism, please more realism yeah okay let's go on yeah this is nicely done Okay, next, yeah, Dubai escapes, landscapes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, something. Yeah, nice works. Um, she's not there, unfortunately. So we'll move to another one now. Okay, I think uh, Anir Banshet has some issue with sound, uh, and I'll check again, but. yeah we are uh, now going to sonal singh uh, sonal was uh, born in india her first experience as an artist was when drew and bagged a second prize in grade 2 for a sketch she made inspired by mahatma gandhi she influences by her art teachers and from the area she belong is enriched with art and culture she earned certificate of excellence in art she started uh, um, to paint often and realize that her true happiness uh, always been paints and sketches sonal uh, if you are here at uh, the stage is yours to introduce and talk about your works hello uh, can you hear me yes we can ma'am yeah go on yes this is the most used phrase from last year can you hear me can you see me <laughs> you're right Uh, hello everyone my name is sonal sonal i'm from india i'm in dubai for past 6 years Uh, when i look at my introduction it is yes it is that long i started uh, painting from grade 2 the recognition that i got through the sketching of mahatma gandhi got me more involved into the painting and sketching thing um uh, like everyone else with this lockdown i restarted painting it got lost somewhere in studies and in corporate world uh the painting which i'm going to present here through art smiley is called madhubani paintings usually i do landscapes mandalas and uh, natural illustrative forms but this is uh, the art forms like the general the traditional grass art forms i started venturing into that madhubani is one of them it's a bit special to me because it belongs from a state where i was born uh, it is also called mithila paintings uh, mithila is a region in bihar uh, which is in india the this can you all see the painting yes yes we can uh, maybe a little bit um, you know oh. is it yeah yeah it's better now yeah okay um so when i started doing an art form i mean it's not just the painting that you do you started studying it so this madhubani it is generally done by the women in that region the mithila region and it is done with natural colors and pigments and using natural stuff but with globalization i think this art has found a international platform and we are lucky enough to be doing it on canvas and with acrylic paint 
So this painting is uh, actually, the, there are various styles to Madhubani. Uh, it illustrates the stories from Hindu culture and mythology. The one that I have chosen to draw is inspired by natural art forms. If you can see, there are fishes, flowers, lotus, the repetition of pattern. As I said before, it's when you do an art form, it's just not the painting that you do. You started studying it. So once I started doing Madhubani, I realized the dedication and the hard work that has been put into it. The repetition of pattern, the discipline which is required to do that. Uh, on my study with it, I also realized that this entire, the symbols and the troops that are used in Madhubani has a very strong association with Feng Shui philosophy. Uh, everything like the flower, the lotus that is depicted, it, it signifies positive energy. The fish is a sign of fertility, which means prosperity. The plant are the, the signs of the life, love, everything. So basically the art forms, uh, which are very traditional, they are not simple paintings. They depict something that depicts more to life. So it has been a very uh, pleasant journey doing it. And uh, all I would say that this is not just an eye, eye candy sort of thing, but uh, like scientifically proven, Feng Shui uh, verified, this kind of paintings bring luck and uh, positivity into your house when you keep it. Um, I can myself feel it. Um, although I would like to say that, I mean, like I would prefer it being eye candy as well, but yeah, I mean, it has been a great journey doing an authentic art form. And thank you, Art Smiley, for providing the platform to represent something which is very, very close to my place and my heart. Thank you, Sonal. I mean, uh, you know, uh, Madhubani has a, a whole traditional art uh, of, uh, you know, Indian continent, as you said, from Mithila region. And, uh, you know, I, it's good to see that you're practicing, uh, you know, this work. And I personally, you know, like to, you know, I endorse this because these are the traditions we have from uh, you know from each region and every culture and heritage has this so we're preserving and bringing into the next generation i'm really happy to see this and it's Thank a great you. it's a different techniques uh, you know to the traditional way of doing so so it's nice to see yeah thank you vikash you want to add anything vikash yeah, yes, she has already explained very well yeah, about the work, exactly. but I, yeah. I just wanted to add a few things. So as she mentioned that this work technique has moved from wall to canvas, wall to paper, and then now to canvas. So I'm happy to see the journey of this work. And also the elements which are used in the work, which as she mentioned, these are all auspicious elements, which you, you use the word auspicious like whether it's face or we use, sometimes we use tortoise or sun or, so these all gives you very positive energy. So as he mentioned, so I did a lot of research on this because I also belong to that reason. So, and how these art forms have reached to the, from the smaller place to the contemporary circuit and now into the museums, like, so we call it the other masters of the contemporary art. So they are not the folk, folk tradition. These are not the only folk artists. These are the other masters of the contemporary artist tradition. Yeah. Wonderful to thank see you. Thank you so much, Vikash. Thank you so much, Art Smiley. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sonal. And thank you, Vikash, for uh, your comments. Uh, so we go to our uh, next artist, uh, uh, Ms. Saima Hassan. Saima Hassan is an Indian artist based out here in Dubai for almost a decade now. She has deep rooted interest in nature and uh, all the things around her that are pure and free from human influence. From a very young age, she was attracted towards colors and fascinated by the idea of using them to express her feelings. Over the years, she kept on exploring her passion, but got real direction to her thoughts and skills from her graduate school, where she learned commercial arts. Uh, Saima working uh, with us for a long time, uh, and we're showcasing her works for, for more than a year. Uh, she's a continuous regular artist, works with us, uh, and uh, good to showcase once again her works. Aruna, she, uh, if she's here, uh, yeah, you know, she's not here actually. So yeah, so we can uh, we can showcase her works. Uh, she uses different uh, kinds of uh, mediums and uh, you know showcases different forms of art. So these are some of her works, uh, as you can see. Yeah, yeah okay. move on next okay. one, uh, Aruna. Yeah, this is some of her works as you move. Yeah, some landscapes. Yeah. Okay, next.
Okay, so now we are introducing uh, Mahoom Shoheb. Um, she's a pharmacist by profession and a passionate artist from Pakistan. Currently, she's based out here in Dubai, studied interior designing and painting to fulfill her passion for art. She's on a constant journey to find new and innovative ways of creating art. Modern, contemporary and abstract art is her style. She's more into impasto technique with the palette knife to create movement and textures, which gives every painting an innovative touch and 3D effect. Uh, Ms. Mahom, if, you, if you are here, uh, please uh, talk about your works uh, and uh, showcase them. Yes, hello everyone, uh, good evening. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, Art Smiley, for giving me this opportunity to showcase my art. Um, I'm a pharmacist by profession and uh, artist by choice and passion. Um, I have done interior designing courses and uh, painting courses. Uh, I do canvas painting, fabric painting, glass painting. Basically, paint is my love. So uh, I also do furniture painting. So here uh, um, with you, I'm been uh, uh, showcasing my four of my artworks. Um, my style is contemporary, modern, and abstract art. And the um, main uh, uh, thing I use is impesto technique. So uh, the first painting which I'm uh, showing you is this. It's called a reflection. So um, here I have used palette knife with the uh, structure gel and modeling paste. It's basically depicting the uh, sky and ocean, the reflection which the sky gives to the ocean. So it's not always the same. So there's some color variations over here. And uh, this is uh, uh, my style. And the this was my inspiration from a photo. I love the colors and I just picked it up and put it here. And I have also used some of the gold paints over here to give uh, um, effect. And uh, this is my first painting. And uh, the second one, which I'm showing is, it's Dubai Skyline. It's a silhouette effect uh, uh, painting. I hope it's coming because it's really too big. Yeah, so uh, this is, a. Uh, my dedication to UAE and Dubai. Uh, I've shifted here, uh, like it's been two years, but I'm just awestruck with the magnificent, the skyline of Dubai. Sorry, this is my dedication to UAE. Okay, this, uh, this was my second. And the third and my favorite, and this is, I called it Mama's Tita because it's, it's dedicated to women. So it has, uh, uh, you know, different patterns and the transition it's going on over here i have used a uh, same uh, modeling paste with acrylics and this is also an impesto technique so i don't think so the colors it's really good because i have yellow lights in my house but i i think uh, if aruna can show the uh, you know the slide it will give the uh, uh, colors okay So yeah, that's, this is reflection. This was the base skyline. This is uh, Mama Sita, I call it. Yeah. Okay, and the last one is Lovey and Rose. It's uh, my love for roses. Yeah, it's uh, beneath it, it has a black and white uh, background. And for the roses, I have used the uh, uh, same the structure uh, and modeling piece which is giving a, a, you know, coming out of the canvas and pop-up effect from the uh, painting, from the canvas, yeah. This is my work. Yeah, thank you, Mahom. Uh, it's really, you know, some nice, uh, interesting works from your side. Uh, I really love it, you know, the color, the textures, the way you've done it. Uh, it's a special work and nice, uh, nice works. Thank you so showcase. much, thank you so much. So, yeah. So we have now uh, uh, showcasing next artist, uh, Sahar Shahid. Um, she's uh, also a self-taught contemporary artist uh, from Pakistan residing in UAE, doing artworks since 2016. She loved to do work with uh, mixed mediums in abstract sea escapes and abstract calligraphy paintings. 
participated in calligraphy exhibition in well-renowned Pakistan Art Hub, Alhambra Art Center, and uh, Artcom Expo International Association. Received certificate of appreci appreciation from His Excellency Suhail Muhammad Al-Zaruni. Al um, Ms. Sahar, you can have a uh, you know, uh, stage to talk about your work, sir. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Art Smiley, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, actually, you already introduced me. I'm from Pakistan, residing in UAE almost now. It's eight years. And uh, my work is all about the abstract contemporary art calligraphy. And uh, I'm basically inspired from the seascapes and uh, doodle arts and tingles. And this time, uh, which work I am going to present that is actually not with me. So I would like uh, uh, you to present my work. Slide, please. Aruna, can you show us your work? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you, Aruna. So uh, this work of mine, basically, I uh, may call an exhibition that was uh, named uh, Wayne 49. And it is all about the UA. And the title of the painting is Iconic UA. As you can see, there are the basic and major icons of UA. And uh, you can see how UA heading towards the bright future. Uh, being surrounding, uh, uh, sorry, being around into uh, its. So, can you zoom it, please? I can zoom it. Okay. Being grounded to its tradition, you can see if you zoom it. Yeah, I think the culture of the UAE, the basic icons of the UAE. Yeah. Can we zoom it? Like word, yes, uh, from the past, then present, then future. It is something like a story which I tried to put in my canvas. It is basically a uh, eighty by eighty centimeter canvas. Okay. I use the bright colors mostly to give a very highlighting impact in my paintings. And uh, you can see in the future, there are the Yeah. Yes, there are, the, uh, there are the major uh, uh, 5G technology which is going to be introduced in UAE in soon. And uh, there is the Hope Mission. There are the a few buildings which are going to which are going uh, going to start in coming years, inshallah ta'ala. So uh, the work of mine is all about the UAE. You can see uh, there are the traditions of the UAE. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a is great. Is it clear work. to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is, uh, Ms. Sahar. I mean, we can so, see that a lot more details uh, you put together into yeah, this. Yeah, there are so many details in my work, you can see. And it is all about the colors of UA, uh, which I used in uh, this. So it's all about my work, uh, which I'm going to present in this exhibition. Thank you so much, Art Smiley, for giving me this opportunity. Actually, I'm a little bit confused. It is my very first time online exhibition, actually. No, no, you're, it's okay. Everybody go through this. That's fine. Huh? Maybe you keep doing with us and you'll you do much better presenter. <laughs> yeah, I would like. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sure, for sure. I mean, uh, <laughs> your work is talking anyway. You don't need to because there's a lot more details. As I see, I can see that how you showcased the, all the culture of UAE and the iconic, uh, you know, buildings, everything, landmarks of UAE showcased in one portrait here. Yes, it's nice. yes, yes, you're right. Yeah. Beautiful work. Okay. Uh, thank you, Saharia. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure, yeah. So we're uh, showcasing now uh, Sunny Isaac. Um, Sunny Isaac art is an adventure of um, mind-blowing expression using various techniques, forms, colors, and mediums with the freedom of unlimited experimentation. He had a diploma in general arts from Ashi Federal Polytechnic, Edo, Nigeria. Also had a degree in uh, visual arts from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. He is from Lagos, Nigeria, based in Fujairah, UAE. He had both solo and group art exhibitions. He combines art studio practice with part-time TV production design as a set designer and art directing. 
Sunny, this is the uh, stage is yours to talk about yourself and your work. Uh, Thank you so much. Can you hear me now? We, yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Can yes. You, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to get close to the laptop then. Thank you so much for this opportunity uh, at Smiley. This is my first time doing uh, an online exhibition like this. And my, it's my first, my first experience, you know. Though I've had other exhibitions as, as you see my profile. Uh, uh, my name is Sonny Isaac. I'm from Lagos, Nigeria, you know, the only black guy in the world. I'm so happy to be part of this process. I'm so happy to be involved. I've been an artist from my childhood. I, I'm like, art to me is, is an innate, you know, I was born with this. I started from my very, you know, childhood, started doing art. I then you know, pursued it as a passion. I studied more, you know, advanced. I I do all sort of art. I I do mixed media. I do installation. I do work with pastel. I do watercolor. I do acrylic. I do oil. But this particular uh, art piece, this one is at my back, uh, the one selected is a uh, uh, acrylic on on the canvas. The title is uh, the the royal victory. The royal victory. Yeah. It's uh, about life, you know, the journey we embark in life, you know, uh, life is the journey. As, as we go through this journey of life, you know, no matter, you know, our different personality, our status, we are faced with different challenges as we go through life. So in this painting, I try to depict that same challenge the, the horse rider, you know, they face because it, it's a competition, you know. Is on a race uh, and he has a focus, he has a target, he has where he's headed to. So he, he faced so many challenges, people behind him trying to draw him a lot of distraction, but he's focused and he became victorious at the end because he won the quest. So it's a it's a royal it's a royal victory. And as we go through life, we we have a lot of things life through at us and which we overcome. So as we overcome all these odds. We become more victorious, you know, in every phase, every phase, everything we face in life, every, no matter your personality, you know, every individual have their individual, you know, uh, 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 challenges in life, you know, whether you are a rich person, whether you are a poor person, whether you are an average person, you know, look at last year, we have, everybody faced pandemic, everybody, all the rich, the poor, but we were able to overcome these challenges and we forged ahead. We moved ahead. So I was able to defeat this movement with the strokes and the flow from the garment, the costume the rider is wearing. And this this Arab Arab culture also reflects from my country, the northern part of Nigeria. We have a northern we have what we call Doba. Uh, uh, it's called Doba. It's a festival in my in the northern part of my country where there's a competition. It's a royal, it's a royal festival that takes place you know, once in a year. The riders from the royal uh, arcade of riders from the community, from the villagers, they will come. Uh, it's, it's a competition and one person will always come to it. So it's now reflecting back to my own culture from where I'm coming from and my own country. And my own country. And now I'm based in Dubai. And Dubai also have similar culture where they have all these horses a uh, festival, they come out, they race, you know, one person will come out victorious. You know, these participants come from either from the royal home or from the community or from the, you know, people will just come and represent and one person will come victorious. So it shows about the same journey where we go into life, that whatever challenges we have, whatever things we face, we overcome it, we overcome the odds and we become more victorious. So I try to defeat colors, I use colors, I you know, try not to make it too realistic, you know, I try to, in my rendition, try to make an impact and send a, a message. Thank you. I thank you once more for uh, the platform, uh, Ask My Lead platform. I'm so excited. 
and I, I hope to participate more more in your programs. I'm really excited. I'm really happy for being part of this. I tried. I tried. Yeah, I tried. You know, that's why probably I was the last person to present. I tried as much to be in this project, and I thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the platform. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny. And uh, I've been uh, watching you since the beginning. You're in here, uh, you know, waiting for your turn. But, uh, you know, it's good to see. And uh, I had to say that you're not, you're not only the one Nigerian here. Uh, we have a few other Nigerians from uh, in Dubai who work with us, uh, oh, you know. Okay. So, that, yeah, we have nice. people. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. And also, I personally that's visited nice. Nigeria, Lagos, uh, Port Harcourt. You know, there are many places in. Uh, I love Ibuni Ud. Uh, you know, the sculptures you guys make yeah. are amazing. Uh, yeah, we 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 have a very strong and very rich culture that showcases, culture, yeah. and we have people that are, are highly talented, but most of them are not really highly represented, or they don't have the platform, they don't have the privilege, the opportunity. I'm here in UAE now. This is my first time of doing an online. When I was younger, what I do then, before the era of internet, what we do is mail. They don't call mail exhibition you 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 do your artwork you, you get it online then you mail it it's a small small piece you mail it and we won't hear anything from them you know sometimes they will they will reply or they respond but this is a direct this one is more advanced technology has even gone into into art has gone deep into art and which is always uh, kind of elevating and you know showcasing from hidden talents people that don't have the privilege you know of going to a big uh, 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 art exhibition, we have the privilege and advantage to showcase our work. You know. So, so thank you. Nice one. All right, thank, thank you, Sunny, and I appreciate it, uh, your time and uh, your artwork. It's a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Go to the next. So we're uh, introducing now uh, Rashi Sharda. Rashi um, venerates an artistic spirit across multiple forms, genres, and uh, media. Her upbringing in the beautiful city of uh, Jaipur, India, and an art of loving family has embedded deep-rooted artistic beliefs and philosophies in her personality. After spending a substantial time of her life in Jaipur and uh, Bandung, Rashi is presently living in Jakarta, Indonesia, and is an avid traveler. Her globe trotting sojourns have uh, ingrained an inherent and penchant to explore and express uh, universal attributes that bind uh, humans across cultures, civilization, and countries. Uh, Rashi, the floor is yours. Uh, I think you've been also waiting for a long. Uh, please uh, talk about you and your works. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for thank you, Art Smiley, for providing this amazing platform. And I'm really excited. It's my first virtual exhibition as well. So I'm excited and nervous as well. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm Rashi Sharda. I'm from India and I'm based in Jakarta, Indonesia. And I've done my bachelor's in fine arts, paintings and sculpture. I've uh, been taking part in a few exhibitions here in Jakarta as well. And I've been also working with a non-profitable organization. I teach art to kids. So uh, uh, basically talking about my artwork, I'm deeply influenced by Rumi, um, his poetry, his um, philosophy and spirituality, and uh, also Sufism. I love to hear Sufi songs. So everything just plays, uh, everything, it all just connects and uh, for me it's, all connected and becomes just one theme, which is attaining um, inner peace. So I'm trying to reflect something similar in my painting as well. Um, this is one of my Sufi series. Um, so here uh, I've named this painting Tatya and Mithya. So Tatya and Mithya, uh, the dance of mind. So Tatya is a Hindi term, Indian term, so uh, which means the truth. 
So the white part, it's all, I've made it like all textured, but it's white and um, it's, it means serene. It, it reflects calmness and uh, peace and also the inner beauty. So basically what I'm trying to show is the two, two different world, the inner world and the outer world through this painting. Um, so white also reflects singular, it's the absolute truth. And on the other hand, the outer world that you can see, it's all colorful and I'm, sh I'm showing it in different circles, circular form. So this is Mithya. Mithya means imagination, imaginary world. And um, it's the pseudo truth of life. It's the outer truth and it only grows, it multiplies. Um, so it's the attractive world. So I've made it all colorful. I've put a lot of uh, details and like a lot of different colors, a lot of textures here. Um, and the whirling dervish here is, uh, it's the dancing mind. It's the mind basically. So here uh, it's the dancing mind uh, between the two realms of the truth, the inner peace and the outer, uh, the inner world and the outer world. So this is what I'm trying to um, show here and I've used mixed media. I've been working um, in uh, oils, acrylics and I'm still trying to explore myself. So yeah, that's about my work. Yeah, nice work, uh, Rashi. I mean, I can see, as I said, a lot of details. Huh? Believe me, I mean, I'm just looking at it closer to see more details here, actually. Some wonderful, wonderful work, actually, to put together, uh, you know. Thank uh, you. Know, it's much more clear here, actually, than, than, I mean, now I can see this. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, you mixed with, uh, you know, our, uh, you know, the dance forms, the and the imagination around it, you know, it's 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 a nice way uh, to portray it. An artist only can do certain times. You feel it. This is real art, you know, because that's the creativity you guys do. Yeah. Amazing work. Amazing, Rashi. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for providing this amazing platform. No, it is our pleasure to have uh, you here uh, today. Uh, next one, uh, Aruna. <clears throat> so... We're going to introduce uh, Abir uh, Rantisi. Abir is a Jordanian artist based out here in Dubai. In 2018, she got a merit award for oil painting from Dubai Art Center for Students Exhibition. She is a member of the International Association of Visual Artists, IWA. Worked as a volunteer in Dubai Ladies Club as artist helping disabled children to finish their artworks and she got certificate of appreciation from Al Maktoum Foundation. Exhibited in Art Hub Gallery, it was a group exhibition called Beyond Borders in Al Galeria Mall, Abu Dhabi in 2019. Okay. Abir yeah. is here today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can Hi, Abir. I mean, this is the Hi. work, uh, you know, a lot of applause it got in, uh, I think, in one of the shows in World of Dubai. Yeah, Dubai, actually. Yeah, yeah. in World of Dubai, but we, could, we couldn't, luckily, though, you're not there, actually. But otherwise, <laughs> yeah, I was there. You don't have to showcase. Yeah, there are a lot of people asked, but you're not there to give it to them. Oh, really? They ask for her a lot? Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, one lady I still remember fighting with me. Why you showcase, but he's not here? Huh? <laughs> Oh my God, because I, you know, I noticed this for you before. I told you, I just want to give it to you since in case somebody asks for it, I feel like somebody, they will ask for it, but I don't know why they didn't tell me yes in that time. Okay. Good to see you, Habir. Yeah, maybe it's there. Thank you so much, Mr. Lord. To me too. Thank you so much for producing me as an artist. And uh, it happened chance again to be introduced in art simile again. So maybe it's my luck again to, to be involved in this uh, gallery. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So Thank since you talked... Mm -hmm. Go on, go on, Abir. Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, since you talked about me as an artist, I will talk about the uh, painting here. Uh, the name of the painting, it's Marilyn Monroe with the blue mask. Uh, actually, this painting, I did it uh, since uh, the pandemic of coronavirus, uh, since um, that uh, I tried to mix here uh, so many things. It's made by, with acrylic 
paints and oil painting. Um, I uh, my like the the idea of this painting is to mix the present and the past together. So everybody knows uh, Marlene Barlow as the iconic of beauty, but this time she's wearing a blue mask, but it's not a, a blue mask, like it's torn away or faded. I used here the pixile idea. Uh, it means that the coronavirus will be faded once uh, once and, and one day. Like you, you can see that like the mask is torn in here. So it's the idea that the coronavirus will in the future go well, hopefully one day, and so so it's she would so the idea of the the painting it's mixing between the past and the present because in the past uh, Marlene Moro she was she wasn't wearing a mask and they are all like painting it without mask but for me I did uh, an extra thing um, I let her wear this mask and in in a, in a, in a, in a different way and it's the mask is gonna fade away like in one day and that's it. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, it's a wonderful work because it's been selected by uh, Walda Dubai. Uh, you know when we are under Corona talks, uh, so it's been mm -hmm. most likely that's why it's been selected. So pleasure to see you here again. Thank you, uh, Abir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I'm so happy also to display it again in uh, the Hilton Double Tree. Maybe it's another chance for me to be displayed. Thank you so much, Aruna. Uh, as Mr. Lourdes, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I'm also here. Thank you. Mr. Yeah, thank you also, Aruna. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, next artist, and I think our last artist of the night, I think, Gomati Shiva. Uh, she's a self-taught artist from India. She had participated in many national and international exhibitions across the UAE, India, Sri Lanka, and China. She gained tremendous knowledge and experience owing to the exposure. Her paintings are influenced by nature, culture, and are an attempt to portray emotions that connect and touch the lives of people. She's also doing uh, customized, uh, okay. she's not here, but uh, we'll be showcasing her work. Uh, uh, <clears throat> she, sorry, uh, she's also doing customized uh, painting, sketching as required for different customers and art enthusiasts. However, uh, hyperlism oil paintings are her forte. So she's uh, displaying one of her works and uh, the, you know, Aruna, can you showcase her work? Yeah, so this is the work. I don't know what is the name of this title, any title, Aruna, for this work? Uh, she's done yeah, it in a... So actually, Mr. Vikas may something, say something about this work. Yeah. So it's it's put together in a in a different format. I think flower with uh, you know uh, surrounding. Uh, it's 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 done it in a, a nice manner, uh, more feminism. And in a way, it's uh, portrayed uh, uh, beautifully uh, the work and the butterfly in her hands. So nice work, but we don't have the details. I think uh, she didn't maybe share it, but I think that's it uh, for tonight, right, Aruna? There's a finishing our exhibition, or oh, there's one more, right? Uh? Last artist, yeah, because she's also not here. Yeah, we have Angelina Artemenko. Uh, she's a Russian artist, resides in Dubai, UAE. In 2002, she graduated from uh, uh, Kransanadar State University of Culture and Arts. Angelina has had numerous solo exhibitions, primarily in Moscow. She's a member of the Moscow Union of Designers. Uh, being a theater artist, she masters many painting techniques. She likes to combine several different styles and textures in one picture and make collages. She believes that the interior should have paintings that inspire, nourish, and charge with a good mood. Therefore, Angelina always sits down at the easel in a state of uh, pleasant euphoria. Okay. So, oh, wow. Okay. This is a, a more down to the cultural of Russian. Okay. Yeah, these are actually different form of work called name music, dance, and there is cancer zodiac as well on the right side. Okay. And this is something African work, this one. Okay. Yeah, um, this is a lot music. more details, uh, you know, it's more of uh, down to the traditional stuff. Okay, yeah. very nice. Okay, go on. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is Cancer Zodiac. Okay, nice. That's it, yeah. End yeah. So that's all uh, we're ending for the day. I think we were uh, exceeded by over 15 minutes, uh, but uh, well done all the artists uh, who are, uh, you know, presented your works today. And uh, it's a great job by all of you. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, to showcase your paintings. And I, today I see one thing, you know, there's a lot of, uh, of, you know, first timers showcasing with us. And at the same time, uh, some very experienced uh, artists and, uh, you know, uh, great artworks have been showcased uh, and, and really, really pleasure. Uh, you know, what we do after this, what happens, uh, I know those uh, who are participated in uh, Hilton, I'll see them uh, tomorrow to, you know, collect the artworks and uh, display around the Hilton Hotel. But uh, for rest of them also, you know, we will be posting these uh, videos in our social media platforms. And uh, we're also posting a lot of pictures of these uh, artworks uh, throughout the month of the exhibition. Okay. So that's all. Sorry. So we are uh, showcasing all these videos, uh, paint, uh, photos and everything and promoting uh, for the next one month. Uh, please, as soon as you see some of your works are being, uh, you know, showcased or uh, advertised uh, in our platform, social media platform, please reshare uh, in your own uh, social media platforms, ask them your friends uh, to share it along with it. So this way we can able to reach out to the maximum audience and we also have our regular audience. Uh, so this will help us to promote artworks as much as is possible, uh, okay? So please uh, keep us engaged uh, and any comments or feedback, uh, you're welcome to send us uh, either in the group or personally to us. Uh, we always want to um, you know, improve every exhibition what we do. Uh, and also, lastly, I want to say that, uh, you know, we're building communities from the rural areas to bring uh, a new talent of art or unknown, unseen uh, artists. So if you know somebody, you know, from the areas, you know, we want to bring it, uh, talent to showcase in the, you know, limelight to the world, please uh, let us know and we will able to help them uh, to showcase in our platform uh, and, uh, you know, promote their artworks as well. And so if you have one last thing, if you have any questions or feedback, uh, anything you want to provide us, you can reach out to us, Aruna or myself. Our numbers are also available on our website and our, you have all of our in the WhatsApp groups as well. So otherwise, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, it's a long day, a long evening for all of us, uh, showcasing a lot of different artworks, wonderful time with everybody. And uh, see you again soon. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you, Art Smiley. Yeah, thank you. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Art Smiley. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.